So welcome to this video series on aptitude presented by Mentors for IAS in association with Bangalore IAS Academy and Namak APSC. So in this particular video as well, we will continue to solve and discuss few more problems on profit and loss considering that you have a variety of problems on profit and loss. Now this particular session over here will actually include a lot of calculations or at least a bit of calculations we will have to, so mathematical operations will have to be carried out. So here we have the first question. The first question says a dealer sold an article at a loss of 2.5% or that is 5 by 2%. Uh, let me write it as 2.5% here. Okay. So a dealer sold an article at a loss of 5 by 2% or 2.5%. Had he sold it for rupees 100 more, he would have gained 15 by 2%. Uh, that is 7.5%. He would have gained 7.2%. 7.5%. To gain 25 by 2%, that is nothing but 12.5%. To gain 25 by 2%, he should sell it for what rate at what rate should he be selling in order to gain 12.5 percent so what i will do is once again i will assume something so let me assume the selling price okay let me assume the selling price to be x rupees let the selling price be x rupees such that this x rupees is at the rate of 2.5% loss. Meaning, when the dealer is selling it at x rupees, he is losing 2.5%. The loss percentage is what? It is 2.5%. So, what does this mean? x rupees is what? It is 97.5% with respect to the cost price. See here, if cost price is 100%, then x rupees, which is at a loss of 2.5%, what will this be? This will be nothing but 97.5%, correct? 100 minus 2.5 is nothing but 97.5%. However, the question further says that if he had sold it for rupees 100 more, meaning what? x plus 100 rupees. If he had added rupees 100 more to its selling price, he would have gained 7.5% instead of losing 2.5%. So, I can write what? X plus 100 will be equal to what? It will be equal to 107.5%. 107.5%. Why? Because he is gaining 7.5% with respect to what? With respect to the cost price, not with respect to the initial selling price. It is always with respect to the cost price. Then X plus 100 would have been 107.5%. So now don't you think we can determine the value of x? Of course we can determine the value of x. So now cross multiplying what do we get? We get 107.5 into x is equal to 97.5x plus 9750. So now taking this to the left hand side we get 107.5x minus 97.5x is equal to 9750. Uh, this is nothing but 107.5 minus 97.5 is nothing but 10. So we have 10x is equal to 9750. Therefore, x is what? x is nothing but 975 rupees. So when he sells it at 975 rupees, he is at a loss of 2.5%. He is at a loss of 2.5%. Now the question is asking for what? The question is saying at what rate should he sell it if he should gain 12.5%. At what rate should he sell it if he has to gain 12.5%? So again, we will come back to x itself. So if x, that is nothing but 975 rupees, if this is 97.5%, then what is, what is, what should, what is the selling price? What should be the selling price such that the Selling price with respect to the cost price is what now? It has to be 
because 100 plus 12.5 this is nothing but 112.5 percent see by now you should have noticed that the answer should be rupees 1125 however we will solve it so what we, what should be the selling price if we have to gain 12.5 percent as profit it is nothing but 975 into 112.5 divided by 97.5 this 10 times is nothing but 975 10 into 112.5 is nothing but 100 and sorry 1125 rupees therefore the correct answer is rupees 1125 and the correct option is option d over here correct option is option d okay question number two now what is question number two question number two says the cash difference between the selling prices of an article at a profit of four percent and six percent is rupees three then what is the ratio of the two selling prices what is the ratio of the two selling prices so once again what i will do is i will assume something i am going to assume let the cost price be x rupees let the cost price be x rupees then if i am going to sell it at a profit of four percent then selling price at four percent is what nothing but 1.04x selling price at six percent is what nothing point nothing but 1.06x what is the ratio of the two selling prices the question is asking for what the ratio of the two selling prices that is selling price one by selling price two this is nothing but 1.04 x divided by 1.06 x x and x gets cancelled we have 1.04 divided by 1.06 this is nothing but 104 divided by 106 so it is equal to uh, 252 this is 2 5 is 10 2 3 is 6 nothing but 52 is to 50 3 therefore the correct option is option b the correct answer is 52 is to 3 question number 3 now now question number 3 says there's a shopkeeper who sells two watches for rupees 308 each on one he gets 12 percent profit and on the other he gets 12 percent loss what is his profit or loss in the entire transaction so he has two watches both the watches he sold them for 308 rupees each therefore what is the total selling price if each watch costs 308 rupees and there were a total of two watches what is the total selling price total selling price is nothing but 2 into 308 which is nothing but 3 uh, 8 2 is 16 1 here 0 1 2 3 is 6 therefore the total selling price is what it is rupees 616 rupees it is nothing but 616 rupees now the question further says that on one watch he gets 12 percent profit and on the other watch he gets 12 percent loss so let's take the first watch let's take the first watch selling price is what rupees 308 at 12 percent profit a 12 percent profit so if rupees 308 is at a 12 percent profit then this is nothing but 112 percent then how do we determine the cost price of this particular watch cost price is nothing but 100 percent then cost price is equal to 308 divided by 112 so if the selling price is rupees 308 at 12 percent profit then the cost price of the same watch will be what it is 308 into 100 divided by 12 so it is nothing but 308 into 100 divided by 12 similarly the second case now if the selling price is rupees 308 at 12 percent loss at 12 percent loss what does this mean 308 rupees is at a 12 percent loss meaning this is equal to 88 percent then what is the cost price with respect to this cost price will be 100 percent then how do we determine the cost price cost price is nothing but 308 into 100 divided by 
88 divided by 88 therefore the cost price of the watch sold at 12 percent loss that is if, it's, if sold at 308 rupees the cost price will be 308 into 100 divided by 88 divided by 88 so if the cost so now we have determined the cost price of the individual watches we have determined the cost price of the individual watches now if we have determined the cost price of the individual watches what is the total cost price what is the total cost price total cost price will be what 308 into 100 divided by 112 plus 308 into 100 divided by 88 so this is nothing but I am taking 308 into 100 uh, sorry 308 into 100 common into 1 by 112 plus 1 by 88 I will take LCM now what do you get we get 308 into 100 88 sorry plus 112 divided by 112 into 88 88 plus 112 uh, see 120 plus 80 is 190 198 plus 2 is nothing but 200 what do we get the total cost price as total cost price is nothing but 308 into 100 into 200 divided by 112 into 88 so I will erase all this in order to make some space <clears throat> let me erase everything okay so total selling price is what rupees 616 what is total cost price total cost price is nothing but 308 rupees into 100 into 200 divided by 112 into 88 what is the question asking for question is asking for the total profit or loss on the entire transaction how do we do that we take total cost price as 100% then we have to determine with respect to the cost price what is the selling price what is the selling price so cross multiplying we get 616 into 100 whole thing divided by 308 into 100 into 200 divided by 112 into 88 so I take 112 into 88 to the numerator over here so this is what we get this is what we get so 100 and 100 gets cancelled uh, this is twice so this is 100 so what are we left with we are left with 112 into 88 divided by 100 so now I'll multiply 112 by 88 8 2s are 16 8 1s are 8 9 8 again it is 8 itself so 6 9 8 what do we get 6 9 plus 6 is 15 9 plus 9 is 18 8 plus 1 is 9 so this is nothing but 9856 divided by 100 or it is equal to 98.56 percentage meaning what the selling price is 98.56 percentage with respect to the cost price which is 100 percent then what is the loss percentage what is the loss percentage loss percentage is what uh, so we get what uh, 9 9 9 and 10 so 10 minus 6 is 4 9 minus 5 is 4 9 minus 8 is 1 9 minus 9 is 0 therefore what is loss percentage loss percentage is nothing but 1.44 percentage however if you look at the answers over here uh, none of them are in the terms of 1.44 so I'll write 1.44 as 144 divided by 100 in order to determine the fractions so it is 1.44 percent is nothing but 144 divided by 100 percent so now <coughs> uh, Yes, it is divisible by 4 so 4 3s are 12 2 4 uh, 6 4s are 24 this is obviously nothing but 25 therefore the loss percentage is what it is nothing but 36 divided by 25 percent loss therefore the correct answer is 36 divided by 25 percent loss or the correct option is option 
B. Therefore, it is 36 divided by 25 percent loss. Now, obviously, this took a lot of time. This is the way to solve it. However, there is a shortcut method, but you'll have to remember the shortcut as usual. And I will give you the alternative which will help you in saving time. But if you want to follow the procedure, this is the procedure that you'll have to follow. You'll have to determine the total selling price, the total cost price, and then determine the total loss percentage in order to find out the answer. So what is the alternative now in order to save time? So let me just clear out everything over here. Okay. Now again, going back to uh, the first video on profit and loss. Uh, I did mention that uh, when giving you all the formulas, I did mention that whenever a person sells two similar items, where on one item he gains X person for example and on the other item he loses X person then there is always loss it is always loss if it is always loss what is the loss percentage the loss percentage is what the loss percentage will be the common the common loss or gain percentage the common loss or gain percentage divided by 10 whole thing square so if it was a loss of x percent and a gain of x percent then the total loss percentage will be x divided by 10 whole square this will be your loss percentage so if you look at this particular <clears throat> if you look at this particular uh, question over here it does not matter if it is sold or uh, if it is sold at a total of rupees 308 or whatever it is it does not matter what do we need we only need the profit and loss percentage however for this uh, shortcut to apply the profit and loss should be common see in this case the profit also is 12 percent the loss also is 12 percent if it is not common this shortcut is not going to work if it is 10 percent profit and 12 percent loss then you'll have to solve it by the original method which I had done before this alternative method. That is the original method. It takes time, however. But if it is common, the loss and gain percentage is common, then we can use this formula where it is always loss percentage. It will always be loss percentage. Then what is x here? x is nothing but 12. 12 divided by 10 whole square. 12 square is what? Nothing but 144. 10 square is what? Nothing but 100. Did we not get 144? by 100 in the previous method of course we got 144 by 100 and we had reduced 144 uh, by 100 to 36 by 25 percent where 36 by 25 percent is nothing but a loss percentage therefore the correct answer is not 36 by 25 percent profit it is 36 by 25 percent loss you don't get no profit or loss okay just by reading the question we cannot mark option a it is actually option b 36 by 25 percent loss now going to the fourth question <clears throat> what is the fourth question trying to say now the fourth question says a man sells two commodities for rupees 4000 each neither losing nor gaining in the deal if he sold one commodity at a gain of 25 percent the other commodity is sold at a loss of what percentage that is what the question is trying to say so this question is also a bit similar to the previous question however unfortunately we don't have any shortcut as such or a shortcut formula for this particular problem we'll have to solve it that is why it is important that you understand the problem in the first place so how do we go about solving this particular problem over here now see here the question is saying what a man sells two commodities for rupees 4000 each meaning the selling price of two commodities at rupees 4000 each 4000 per piece what does this imply the total selling price will be equal to what 2 into 4000 it is nothing but 8000 rupees therefore the total selling price is equal to rupees 8000 this is the total selling price now how do we determine the cost price how do we determine the cost price now look here the question says if he sold one commodity at a gain of 25 percent if he sold one commodity at a gain of 25 percent what does this mean 
for the first commodity for the first commodity where the selling price is at the rate of 4000 rupees which is nothing but at a profit of what 25% profit then what does this mean this means 4000 rupees with respect to its cost price is 125% then what is its cost price cost price is 100% but we have to determine the cost price what is the cost price here nothing but 4000 into 100 divided by 125 therefore the cost price of the commodity sold at 4000 rupees at a profit of 25% will be 4000 into 100 divided by 125 now let us take the second commodity where the second commodity selling price is 4000 rupees but at a loss percentage the other commodity sold at a loss percentage however i don't know the loss i have to determine the loss therefore let me say the loss percentage is x percent let it be sold at x percentage okay but i'm not saying it is at 20 uh, just like 25 percent i'm not saying it uh, it is at a x percent loss i'm saying let 4000 rupees be x percent let 4000 rupees be x percent or else i'll have to take here it as 100 minus x percent in order to prevent 100 minus x percent i'm taking 4000 rupees itself as x percent or else if you want loss percentage itself then you'll have to go for 100 minus x percentage over here in order to prevent that i'm taking 4000 rupees as x percentage so after i determine the value of x i'll have to i'll have to subtract it from 100 in order to determine the correct uh, or, or, or the loss percentage itself so continuing with this over here we get 4000 rupees is equal to x percentage then what is 100 percentage that is the cost price therefore the cost price will be equal to 4000 into 100 4000 into 100 divided by x therefore cost price is what it is 4000 into 100 divided by x therefore what is the total cost price total cost price is nothing but the individual cost price of the two commodities which is nothing but 4000 into 100 divided by 125 plus 4000 into 100 divided by x now taking 4000 into 100 outside as common what do we get it is 1 divided by 125 plus 1 over x so this is nothing but 4000 into 100 into 125 plus x divided by 125 x this is what we get the total cost price to be so once again let me just clear some uh, make some space for myself <clears throat> now uh, similar to the uh, previous problem after we have determined the uh, total cost price so we will have to now consider the selling price and the cost price so if the cost price is 100 percent then what is total selling price so with respect to that we should be able to determine the total profit percentage or the total loss percentage so with respect to that we should be able to uh, uh, solve this particular problem over here now that is the normal method in order to solve this however in this particular question the question itself says that uh, by selling the two commodities for rupees 4000 each that is a total selling price of 8000 there is no loss or gain there is no loss or gain meaning what the total selling price the total selling price of 8000 rupees this itself is equal to cost price meaning what total selling price is equal to total cost price so can i say 4000 into 100 into 125 plus x divided by 125 x is equal to 8000 so 4000 two times is nothing but 8000 so what do we have here we have 2 and 50 2 and 50 or you can, let us keep it at 100 itself so that uh, multiplication becomes easier let, let this be 100 itself and let this be 2 itself so we have 100 into 125 uh, or 
100 into 125 plus x is equal to 250x 250x so 0 and 0 gets cancelled over here so we have uh, 1250 plus 10x is equal to 25x is equal to 25x or 1250 is equal to 15x it is equal to 15x therefore x is equal to what x is equal to nothing but 1250 divided by 15 1250 divided by 15 <coughs> okay so what do we get here we have 5 3s are 15 5 2s are 10 2 5 5 5 is 25 0 therefore x is what x is nothing but 250 by 3 percentage however this is at this is the loss with respect to the cost price however if we want the loss percentage itself as i had mentioned earlier we will have to subtract it from 100 percentage so it is nothing but 100 percentage minus 250 percentage 250 by 3 percentage in order to get the loss percentage so it is 300 minus minus 250 by 3 which is equal to 50 by 3 percentage therefore the correct option is option a the correct answer is 50 by 3 percentage it is 50 by 3 percentage now moving on to the next question question number 5 now what does question number 5 say now question number 5 says a fruit seller has 24 kgs of apples he sells a part of these at a gain of 20% and the balance at a loss of 5%. If on the whole he earns a profit of 10%, the amount of apples sold at a loss is what? What is the quantity of the apples out of 24 kgs which is now sold at a loss of 5%. So that is what we have to determine. Out of 24 kgs, a part of it is sold at 20% loss, sorry, 20% gain and another part of it is lost is, is, is sold at 5% loss but however on the entire transaction if he gains 10% profit what is the quantity of apples sold at a loss of 5% now here also again since no other information is given we'll have to assume something we'll have to assume something so let me assume let me assume the cost price let me assume the cost price of 1 kg of apple 1 kg of apple to be 1 rupee let me assume 1 kg of apple to be 1 rupee then what is the total cost price the total cost price of 24 kgs at 1 rupee per kg will be equal to what nothing but 24 rupees therefore total cost price of 24 kgs apples is what it is nothing but 24 rupees apart from this let me also assume something else let me assume that out of 24 kgs let x kgs be sold at loss of 5 percent see here the question is saying and the balance at a loss of 5 percent so I am saying let x kgs be the quantity of apples out of 24 kgs which is sold at 5%. Then what we have to find out, we have to determine the value of x because the question is asking for the amount of apples sold at a loss is what. So we will have to determine the value of x. What is x kgs? What is x kgs? We have to determine this value over here. So how do we go about solving this particular question now see here if x kgs is sold at 5% loss then what is sold at a profit of 20% if x kgs is sold at 5% loss then what is sold at 20% gain nothing but 24 minus x kgs correct 24 minus x kgs is sold at 20 percent profit 24 minus x kgs is sold at 20 percent profit 
okay so i hope till here you have understood this now if x kgs is sold at 5% loss if x kgs is sold at 5% loss then what is the selling price of x kgs what is the selling price of x kgs x price x kg selling price will be nothing but 0.95 x rupees correct see here 1 kg is sold at 1 rupee correct 5 percent loss meaning what it is sold at 95 paise or 0.95 rupees so if x kg is sold at 5 percent loss meaning x kg is being sold at 0.95 rupees per kg it is nothing but what it is 0.95 x 0.95 x similarly the selling price of 24 minus x kgs this is equal to what 24 it's a bit uh, it's not so legible what i'm writing so okay now selling price of 24 minus x kgs will be what it is a 20 percent profit meaning what if 1 kg is 1 rupee, 20% profit will be 1 rupees 20 paise or 1.2 rupees. Then this will be 1.2 into 24 minus x rupees. This will be the selling price. If this is the case, what is the total selling price? Total selling price is nothing but the selling price of x kgs as well as 24 minus x kgs, which is nothing but 1.2 into 24 minus x plus 0.95 x plus 0.95 x so now opening the bracket what do we get 1.2 into 24 1.2 into 24 i'll just multiply it over here uh, 8 4 4 and 2 we get 8 8 and 2 so 1.2 into 24 will be 28.8 minus 1.2 x plus 0.95 x this is nothing but 28.8 uh, 1.2 and uh, 95 so 120 95 20 plus 25 0.25 x is the total selling price therefore the total selling price is what see here we have total selling price total selling price is what 28.8 minus 0.25 x rupees whereas total cost price based on our assumption has to be 24 rupees now see here if the question further says that if the whole selling price is at profit of 10 percent meaning this is 110 percent then cost price is 100 percent now don't you think we can determine the value of x in order to determine, I'll have to clear some space. <clears throat> always remember, uh, the percentage is always with respect to the cost price. So the cost price is 100%. Then can we determine the value of X if the profit percentage is 10%, meaning that the total, uh, total selling price is equal to 110 percent so now cross multiply now cross multiplying what do we get we get 100 into 28.8 minus 0.25 x is equal to 110 into 24 into 24 so 0 and 0 cancels out here so we get 288 minus 2.5 x is equal to 24 into 11 so it is 4 6 and 2 it is equal to 264 now taking 2.5x to the right hand side and 264 to the left hand side we get 288 minus 264 is equal to 2.5x 8 minus 4 is 4 8 minus 2 8 minus 6 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 therefore 24 is equal to 2.5x or x is equal to what 24 divided by 2.5 uh, however we'll have to divide 24 divided by uh, 2.5 in order to get the exact value now instead of doing that let me simplify it so 24 
this is nothing but 240 divided by 2.5 sorry 25 okay now 25 4 is 100 so i will multiply it by 4 we get 4 16 4 to the 8 96 divided by 100 so this 90 960 divided by 100 is what nothing but 9.6 kgs see instead of dividing 24 by 2.5 if i uh, convert the denominator it into 100 it becomes easier why because multiplication multiplication by 4 is always easier by easier than dividing something by 2.5 or 25 if you remove the decimal point so in this case the answer is what the answer is 9.6 kg is the correct option is option c the correct option is option c therefore it is 9.6 kgs next question now question number 6 now what does question number 6 say now according to this question <coughs> this is nothing but a part of your uh, data sufficiency this is nothing but your data sufficiency so here just a moment okay so this is your data sufficiency now here the question says what is the cost price of the article now we have to determine that from the first two statements over here now the first statement says the profit earned the profit the, the profit earned on the article is one third of the cost price and the article the second statement says that the article is sold for rupees 400 the article is sold for rupees 400 so let me assume the cost price to be x rupees let the cost price be x rupees then based on the first statement what is the profit profit is nothing but one third the cost price then profit will be nothing but x by 3 however just by this it is not possible for us to determine the cost price so now moving over to the second statement where the second statement says the article is sold at rupees 400 meaning what the selling price is 400 however we know that selling price is nothing but cost price selling price is nothing but cost price plus profit therefore 400 is equal to x plus x by 3 this means nothing but 400 is equal to 3x plus x by 3 or this is equal to 4x by 3 so 4 into 100 is 400 x is nothing but 100 into 3 it is equal to 300 rupees therefore we are able to determine the cost price however in order for us to determine the cost price it is important that we consider the information contained in both the statements that is option 1 and sorry statement 1 and 2 therefore the correct option is option c we need information contained in both the statements now next question question number 7 what does question number 7 say now question number 7 says this is also part of the data sufficiency it says what would have been the selling price per kg of rice what would have been the selling price per kg of rice what are the first statements say first statement says 50 kgs of rice was purchased at rupees 3350 and rupees 150 was spent on transport rupees 150 was spent on transport so if that is the case what is the total cost price total cost price will be 50 into 3350 because 50 kgs of rice was purchased for uh, sorry 50 kgs of rice was purchased for rupees 3350 so it is 3350 and rupees 150 was spent on transport so it is plus 150 plus 150 so what is the total cost price total cost price is nothing but uh, <clears throat> 5 plus 5 10 3 1 4 and 5 total cost price is rupees 3500 the total cost price is nothing but 3500 now profit earned profit earned is what 5% the profit earned is 5% so if I have to determine the selling price I'll have to consider the profit as well what is 5% of 3500 it is nothing but 5 into 100 divided by 3500 
0, 0 gets cancelled, 5, 5 is a 25, 5, 3 is a 15, 15 plus 2 is nothing but 175. Therefore, profit is 175. If profit is 175, what is the selling price? Selling price is nothing but cost price plus uh, profit which is equal to 5, 7, 6 and 3. If I now have to, the total selling price and also the total quantity as 50 kgs, don't you think it is possible for us to determine the selling price of per kg rice? It is nothing but 3675 divided by 50. So it is 3675 divided by 5, 5 7 is a 35, 1 7, 5 3 is a 15, 2 5, 5 5 is a 25 and a 0 over here. It is nothing but 73 rupees 50 paise. Therefore, it is possible for us to determine the selling price of per kg rice, but we need information contained in both the statements 1 and 2. Therefore, the correct option is option C. Next question, question number 8. Now, what does question number 8 say? Now, question number 8 says, <coughs> uh, Peter bought an item at 20% discount on its original price. He sold it with 40% increase on the price he bought it. The new sale price is by what percentage more than the original price? Again, I want you to do it by yourself. Try to do this particular question by yourself. If possible, we can move on or else we will solve it together now. So here also in order to simplify it, I am going to assume something. Okay. Let me assume the cost price. Let cost price of the article be 100 rupees. Let cost price of the article be 100 rupees. If the cost price is 100 rupees and Peter bought it at a 20% discount rate, then what is his purchase price? What is the purchase price at 20% discount? The purchase price at 20% discount is nothing but 80 rupees. By now, we sh I, I don't think I have to cross multiply and show you how 20% discount is 80 rupees. The purchase price will be equal to 80 rupees. The question further says, he sold it with 40% increase on the price he bought it. Meaning, after purchasing it for 80 rupees, he sold it, he increased the price by 40% and then sold it. So if he increase the 40 per, if he increase the rate by 40% on 80 rupees what is that price after increase if 80 is 100% if 80 is 100% then what is 140% you only have to multiply it by 1.4 actually okay 1.4 into 80 so what do we get here we get 80 into 140 divided by 100 0 and 0 gets cancelled therefore what is the new price new selling price it is nothing but 8 into 14 so uh, 8 into 14 is what uh, 8 fours are 32 3 here 8 ones are 8 it is 112 rupees now question is asking what percentage more is this new price new selling price of 112 rupees over the original price what was the original price 100 rupees what is the new selling price 112 rupees then what is the increase in percentage Nothing but 12 percentage. The correct option is option D. The correct answer is nothing but 12 percentage. It is nothing but 12 percentage over here. <coughs> okay, so there are uh, three practice questions over here. Uh, do try to solve them. Uh, do check if you are able to solve them. The answers for these practice questions will be posted in the comment section. Uh, with this particular video, I will actually be ending this particular discussion on profit and loss because obviously we have solved many problems on profit and loss. I have tried to cover different types of problems on profit and loss. However, uh, if you do get any problem which is even more difficult, there are problems which are even more difficult but I do not, I uh, as per my understanding, the kind of difficulty level when it comes to civil services examination is as per the, the kind of questions that we have solved here. You are not going to get any kind of a question which is going to be even more difficult than the questions that we got, that we have got uh, that we have solved in these uh, six videos with respect to profit and loss. However, if you go for banking, obviously you can have more problems which are even more difficult. But 
if you have practiced all the questions, if you are able to do solve all the questions that we have solved in these six videos as well as the practice questions that should suffice when it comes to profit and loss. But on top of that, if you still do have any doubts, please do write to us in the comment section. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, please do subscribe to us and follow us. Thank you.